Congressman Louis Gohmert, a Republican from the great state of Texas. Congressman, thanks for joining us this Monday morning. Let's get right into it. These executive orders. Last week, we saw President Biden sign an order to cancel the Keystone Pipeline, essentially, which critics say will cost thousands of American jobs. Today, he's uh, set to sign an order aimed at strengthening U.S. manufacturing. What do you make of these two moves here in such a recent time span? Well, again, at least Biden is being consistent. He's helping China every which way he can. He's hurting American jobs. He's hurting union jobs. And uh, the the order that you mentioned earlier about, uh, uh, well, that, that undid the Trump administration's position on preventing China from having anything to do with our power grid, to reverse that makes us vulnerable like never before. And just at a time when China is really looking to punish us even further than uh, the COVID-19 that came our way. Now, look, who benefits with the XL pipeline being stopped? Well, certainly not Americans. Americans will pay more for fuel. But the discussion before the XL pipeline got started was that China may need to build a pipeline to its west coast and uh, send that oil to China. So at least there's consistency in the Biden administration, and that is help for China, hurt for America. Well, let's talk about that, uh, the idea of the China be being involved in America's power grid, because I'm wondering what that sort of looks like, uh, the sort of accessibility that potentially members of the CCP could have uh, to America and American companies as well. Do you have concerns about that? Well, certainly. And what it would probably look like is China providing parts and things that would be utilized in our power grid. And, of course, it would not be um, unexpected that they would configure those in such a way that they would be able to control it, to uh, at some point use that as leverage against the United States. China, the Chinese Communist Party does very little that does not give them a path to control, to power. We've seen it with the money they've lent to countries, whether South America, Africa, Asia. We've seen what that does. That gives them power when those countries can't make their payments. They can step in and control. And so you could expect something, uh, things embedded, something into our power grid that would give them ultimate control just at the worst possible time. So I appreciate uh, President Biden looking out for the for the Communist Party of China, but we really need somebody to be watching out for America, our power grid, our economy, and uh, we've just seen quite a blow to our economy already in the last week. The Biden administration also asking its FBI to draw up a comprehensive threat assessment on domestic violence extremism in our country. Now, some conservatives are worried that this could be a way to go after Trump supporters or sort of a, a way of, of covering that approach. Is that what you think this is? Um, or is there truly this domestic threat internally that needs to be addressed, considering what we saw play out at the Capitol on January 6th? Yeah, but you notice they're not talking about Antifa or BLM or any of the people that created the violence across this nation that were a threat to cities and and to uh, peace in this country. Oh, no, they're not talking about those. They're drawing up an enemies list, and nobody knows how to draw up a better enemies list than people that have said they detested enemies lists and blacklists. But that's what they're doing, and it will be a way to go after anybody, not for criminality, but for posing a threat to political power. That's the way they went after Trump. They saw him even in 2016, early on, as a potential threat to their power. And that's where the Russia hoax came from. It's where uh, so many of the things that have occupied or, or tied the Trump administration's hands came from. So nobody knows more about looking uh, members of Congress in the face and lying to them 
and creating enemies lists and effectively going after them than Mr. Brennan. So I would submit we need to take everything he says uh, very seriously, maybe not honestly, since he knows how to be dishonest. But this is a real threat uh, to a peaceful transition of power. Uh, it's a it's a threat to to Republicans in the future, and it, it actually dovetails nicely with uh, what Mitt Romney said about the future of the Republican Party. Uh, he's named people that will never be a threat to the Democrats that will make sure that they stay in power from now on. So it's interesting to see those two issues dovetail together. Well, if you don't mind, let's jump back to the comments made by former CIA Director John Brennan. I think we have that sure. sound bite. I'll play it for you just so our audience knows exactly what you're referencing. And unfortunately, I think there has been this momentum that has been generated as a result of, unfortunately, the demagogic rhetoric of people that's just departed government, but also those who continue in the halls of Congress. And so I really do uh, think that the law enforcement, homeland security, intelligence, and even the defense officials are doing everything possible to root out what seems to be a very, very serious and insidious threat to our democracy. What do you think he means by root out and how might he approach or, or recommend getting that done? Well, we've already seen uh, what he recommends, and we, we've we seen uh, his tactics. When he talks about rooting out, he's talking about finding uh, and identifying future political threats to democratic control of the House, the Senate, and the White House, and ensuring that they, they are stopped dead in their tracks in the political future and a political uh, career. And so they no longer pose a threat to democratic control of everything. That's the way he worked. And, that, and again, this is how, where the Russia hoax came from. It, it uh, to quote Chuck Schumer, it, it's part of the six ways to Sunday of going after people that pose a threat to the power, to the total control mm -hmm. of, uh, of fascists that, that are now embedded within this administration. Oh, very strong message you're sharing this morning. Joining us here on Newsmax, Congressman Louis Gomer. We appreciate you taking the time, as always. Take care. Thanks, Emma. Thank you.